Howdy, SHS, and welcome back. My name is Landon Southern. And my name is Blake Keener. And will everybody please rise for the pledges? A moment of silence first. And now I'll begin with the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. All right. Okay, everybody. I'm Mia Garcia, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, and I'm Ella Troop. They so. don't. Yeah, we know. Well, Attendance recovery is still available. For those needing to take advantage of the option from semester one or semester two, attendance recovery will be offered before and after school until Friday, May 13th. Please see Ms. Hesseltine with any questions. Get those forms filled out. Yeah. Those get your hours. Are, those forms are easy hours. Just get the attendance recovery. Weather. Oh, that's me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for the weather, we'll have mainly sunny skies and warm days in the mid to high 80s. Okay, baseball hosts Port Lavaca <laughs> tomorrow night, and softball plays at Miller, or yeah, they play Miller at Cabinet. And that was a really close game last time, so let's make sure that we get to support our girls and make sure that it's not. We don't close. really have to. No, but we do. Y'all need y'all need bleacher creatures. Y'all need okay. that. Okay, and track advances to area on Wednesday at Bay City. We have some changes to our weekly club meetings. Oh, really? FCA will be held Thursday morning this week, and another reminder, if you are in student council, please show up because we are still yeah. tracking attendance, and you will not be eligible for an officer position next year if you were one this year and you didn't attend the meetings. And this or yesterday morning, Ella and I had the opportunity to go to Mr. Allen's classroom, and they're currently doing experiments on acids and bases. So we will cut to that interview right now. Hey guys, I'm here with Mr. Allen's chemistry class where they are doing a cool experiment about acids and bases. So Aiden's gonna walk us through some of these steps while Autumn demonstrates. So what's going on? Currently we are, well, demonstrating a reaction, an acid-base reaction. Right now Autumn's currently dumping 10 milliliters of the base. She's gonna then She's gonna pour into here where Adam's gonna. Sorry, Aubrey is gonna put the indicator in there. Two to three drops at the max, never more. She also has to make sure it doesn't touch the sides. And now it's pink. Yes, yeah, so now it is pink. Excuse me. So what's happening now? When we turn the nozzle, the acid that's currently in here is going to drop down into here. And we're going to let it continue until basically it's clear. It's about clear right there. Try swallowing it. It's clear. It is now clear. Now I believe we started with what, 50 milliliters of the acid? Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right. We now have 39 milliliters of the acid. So that's it? That's pretty much it. Wow, cool experiment. Thank you guys for joining us. And we'll see y'all back on the announcements. Very cool. And welcome back from that interview. And last week on Wednesday, the FFA took multiple teams to the Area 10 um, various competitions, and a lot of teams did well, but one team that just rose to the top was our Livestock Judging team that placed first in the area and qualified for the state contest in College Station at the end of April. Um, Anna Decker took High Point Individual, Taryn O'Brien took um, fifth High Point Individual, and I was on the team. No I, I wasn't in the top 10. I was slightly out of. I was 15. That's not slight. That's pretty far out. There was like but, 300 kids. So. But you were yeah. important. I was important. And then Shane Baylor was also on the team. But congratulations to all teams on great seasons and good luck to the teams advancing to state, which is the wildlife team and the livestock team. And speaking events are coming up soon. Speaking Ooh, events are coming up soon. Something that some of us are actually good at. It's okay, buddy. We'll are you all done? <laughs> are you all done? 
Yes, and moving on to today's thought of the day. Oh wait, I thought no, no trivia, no fun fact. I actually have a funny joke. Oh. Um, <laughs> we both have jokes today. Yes. 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 I will tell mine first. What has four legs and cannot walk? A chair. A table. Why doesn't a chair fit that category? Because I feel like answer. it could. But well, you could walk. Deers. Okay, mine. Why are toilets so good at poker? Because they always get a flush. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, as always, we'll end things off with the thought oh, of the day. On that note, what's the highest thing you can get in poker? That's today's trivia. Royal a, royal a royal flush. A royal flush. Anyways, yeah. sometimes Honestly. you never know the true value of a moment until it becomes a memory. I'm gonna cry. I actually know this one. Okay. Um, so, what this is trying to say is it's trying to Look, tell you to like, embrace us. every moment that you have. Show them. Because you'll never really know like what it's really worth until later on in life when you're looking back at that moment. That's literally what this said, yeah, plus more just words. Added, <laughs> added more words. Thanks everyone for watching. Have we a hope you all have, I hope you all had cult. a good Easter. Yes. Didn't even talk about that. A good three day weekend. Have a good week. Have a memory full Monday. Go Pirates. Go Pirates.